Hello and welcome to Polymer Update. This is Simran Chaudhary and you are watching Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Pune-based Parmar International Private Limited. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude futures declined last Friday as global oversupply kept buyers away from the market ahead of the long festive break. Brent traded at $53.82, a fall of $0.53 cents per barrel, while WTI crude finished at $45.59, a drop of $0.29 cents per barrel. Open spec NAFTA prices edged lower by $1 US dollar per metric ton to the $469 US dollar per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Despite a steep week-on-week -week drop in upstream crude NAFTA rates, Ethereum prices spiked in Asia this week. The sharp price rise was in line with bullish demand sentiments in key markets like China. CFR Northeast Asia prices were assessed up at the $935 US dollars per metric ton levels, a week-on-week -week surge of $80 US dollars per metric ton. CFR Southeast Asia prices of ethylene were assessed higher at the $825 US dollars per metric ton mark, a spike of $80 US dollars per metric ton from the previous week. Despite bearish upstream crude and NAFTA values, propylene prices in Asia climbed this week. Reports of strong buying trends in major markets like China pushed prices higher across the Asian region. CFR China prices of propylene were assessed up at the $950 US dollars per metric ton levels, a week-on-week -week increase of $20 US dollars per metric ton. FOB Korea prices of propylene were assessed higher at the $885 US dollars per metric ton levels, or gain of $20 US dollars per metric ton from the previous week. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today, on December 24, 2018. LLTPE prices are down by 30 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 9,035 RMB per metric ton. BP rates are lower by 15 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 9,005 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are down by 30 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 6,605 RMB per metric ton. In plant news, Oriental Energy is in plans to shut a PTH plant in December 2018 or early January 2019. The plant is expected to remain shut for around 20 days to resolve technical issues. Located at Jiangsu province in China, the PDH plant has a propylene production capacity of 660,000 metric ton per year. Polymer Update has introduced news and price analysis on Amazon Alexa virtual assistant using Echo and other devices. The platform lets subscribers check latest news and prices just by asking Echo or any other Alexa enabled device. This is the first of its kind on Amazon Alexa, so do read the kind of questions that you can ask to Amazon Alexa about Polymer Update. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Pune based Parmar International Private Limited, a supplier of plastic raw materials, mini PVC resin, CPVC compounds, and polyethylene. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video on Wednesday to know more. From all of us at Polymer Update, wish you a Merry Christmas. It is Monday, December 24th. I am Simran Chaudhary. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.